Okay, uh, now we're going to look at example problem. We're going to use problem 3 6. We're going to do part A first in this section on page 83 of your book. And this is on we are to prepare, you can read the problem there, you were to prepare a context diagram level 0 data flow document to document the payroll process, system and nowhere products. So in the narrative, it talks about the process. And remember, a level zero DFD is, is kind of like an overview. Um, it's a higher level thing, so we're not going to have a lot of fine details and document flow. We're not documenting the flows in this particular um, example. We are using, or we're just documenting the process. Okay. So we're going to start off with here. We we the process begins in the operating department. So we're going to insert a square here and we're going to draw that right there so our shapes we can, we can change and this is I'm going to label this box operating departments okay so that is our operating department we know from our operating department we turn in time cards Okay, so the, the employees enter their time cards, etc. Put that together. They submit the time cards to payroll who will process those. Process those and put them into the payroll system. So we are going to add a process circle here. So we're going to use a circle when showing a process. So here, our first process is going to be, we're going to have that as our first process. So I'm going to label that 1.0, and we're going to call that process the employee time cards. Okay, so that's the process. I'm going to draw a line showing what exactly we are processing. And I'm going to use a uh, curved line here, and I'm just going to connect from here down, and I'll make that a little uh, bolder black there so you can see it. So that's documenting the process. Over here, we can do insert a uh, we can insert a text box, and let's draw a little text box here. And we're just going to label this time card data. Okay, oops, made it disappear there. And we're going to take and move that down by here. So there we have it. And I can also move this type of thing and use my drawing tools here. And I'm going to send that to the back so that the arrow goes over the top there okay so that's showing that also we see in this example that we uh, the uh, human resources department also does a process so we're going to just copy that box we excuse me copy paste there we go okay we are going to there and we're going to edit this text and we're going to call this the human resources department and we can probably make that a little bit smaller here and though they make personnel changes so we're also the personnel change is going to be our next process so I'm going to add a circle here demonstrating the process again to make it easier to read I'm going to switch to this I'm going to right click, I'm going to go edit text, and I'm going to have my step 2.0. Again, I'm using the 2.0 because that's demonstrating that it's a high level. If we had detailed steps within that, we'd have like 2.1, etc. If I wanted to go further. So we have that. I'm going to, in here, I'm going to go ahead and do another line. So I'm going to connect from here. And I'm bringing this over to bring this over to payroll, 
and so we have that there this is going to be reflecting I'm going to insert a text box again so I'm going to put a little text box over here and I'm just going to say this is my person Tonell changes again we're doing this to document the process so the more we document what's going on the better off we are so that's again this is that's why we're adding this note here personnel changes okay so that's telling us personnel changes happen here we update here my payroll file and so down here we're going to show in symbol form our payroll file and we just do this by drawing straight lines so I'm gonna draw a line here like that you can you can use that little arrow as a target I'm making it thicker and I'm just going to when it's highlighted that I can just copy I'm gonna go down here I'm gonna paste that here and I'm gonna move that so it's pretty close to where the other one is and that'd be exact and I'm going to insert another um, another text box I'm going to put a text box here in the middle of this probably adjust that up so it looks a little better and this is going to be our payroll file so this is going to be on the computer that's our payroll file that's what we're updating so the computer system is updating that okay uh, next we have all this information that we're f is flowing in here so we've input this in here and I'm going to show this through my line so I'm just going to input a line here demonstrating the uh, flow to the payroll file so we've input this stuff in and it's flowing to payroll Again, I'm going to highlight that so we have our payroll files there our next process okay so we've got our stuff in there then we're going to generate a check so I'm going to again click on my circle highlight because this is going to be a process change my background so I've got two steps remaining really I am going to I'm going to right click edit my text and this way we're we're going to do our third process is generating the check so we're going to generate my paycheck and this is all from the documentation that you get from talking to the people the other thing you do the other thing you can do here and I'm going to copy this circle just to make things a little quicker and we're going to put one over here okay and then I'm just gonna that way I can just go in and edit the text we're going to make that step four and our step four is going to be our generate our um, generate our management reports so our payroll reports generate payroll reports okay and so we're taking we're just going to show the line we're going to insert um, again we're going to insert a line here just showing that we're going to take and process our payroll generating those paychecks insert my line get it the way we want you can fiddle with that and make it however you like so we've done that our final process then okay what are we kicking out well we're gonna kick out some documents so I'm going to show up here the employees are going to the employees here are going to get a what employees like employees like paychecks so we are generating a paycheck for them so we're going to generate around here and make that we want to document again so I'm going to put in a, um, a text box so I'm going to insert another little text box over here next to that line and we're just going to note that this is a paycheck that we're generating okay so we're employees there 
uh, the payroll reports we make here I'm just going to make a copy and I'm going to paste a couple of boxes here because we're going to have two different types of reports we're going to have our management reports and again we're not going into detail of what these reports are and we also have our reports that go to our government agencies so our state and federal payroll withholdings okay and then my last step in here in this documentation is going I'm going to document you know what I'm what I'm doing here so I'm going to start up here I'm just going to say eh, okay I'm going to draw a little line there showing the process and I'm going to do that again and draw from here down and then finally I'm going to say okay what am I doing well I'm going to again do an insert of a text box and I draw my little text box here and this is going to be my internal uh, management reports and I didn't make my box big enough to do that so I just make it a little bigger here come on make it a little bigger there we go so I have that there and then finally I'm going to do my last step which is to draw that to do my last text box okay so then finally I'm going to put what my last report uh, this would be my withholding reports from payroll it's going to document that process there so there I have the solution to 3a has a high level overview of what our payroll process is we fill out the time cards are processed by employees any payroll changes are there they're all updating the payroll file our ultimate goal then our last steps in there are to generate a paycheck which goes to the employees we also generate some management reports which go to management and we also we also generate our payroll tax reports which you know of course we use for filing our payroll taxes so that is 3.6 problem a we'll be doing 3.6 B next